Today's documentary looks the life Adeliza of Louvain. Adeliza was the queen and second wife of the English Norman king, Henry I. Henry I was the youngest son of William the Conqueror. Adeliza is thought to have been born in what is now Belgium in 1103. Her father was Godfrey I, Count of Louvain, Landgrave of Brabant and Duke of Lower Lotharingia. And her mother was Ida of Chiny. Very little is known of Adeliza's life until the moment she marries Henry I in 1121, becoming Henry's second wife and queen following the death of Henry's first wife, Matilda of Scotland in 1118. Plans began for Adeliza's marriage to Henry when she was 16. But when Henry's only son and male heir died in 1120 when his ship sunk of the Normandy coast. Plans for Adeliza's marriage were hastily brought forward. Also, Henry was around 25 years older than Adeliza at the time of the marriage at the age of 53. They would be married on 24th January 11th, 21. Adeliza would travel extensively with Henry, undoubtedly in the endeavor to produce a male heir. She was even reported to have relics of Saint Romanus at Rouen Cathedral in the attempt to get pregnant. Twelve years after their wedding, in 1135, Henry I would die at the age of 55 leaving Adeliza as a widow at the age of 32. There would be no male heir or child from their marriage. Records would also show that Adeliza would appear to be a very passive in the administration of the kingdom compared to her predecessor, Matilda of Scotland. Matilda would issue 31 charters in her 15-year marriage to Henry compared to Adeliza's one. This is probably due to Adeliza's maybe to a political naivety or lack of ambition or maybe the desperate mission of producing Henry a male heir. Adeliza during her marriage to Henry, would swear an oath to support Henry's daughter, Matilda, claim to inherit the throne should no male heir be born. On Henry's death, England and Normandy would become engulfed in a civil war, known as the Anarchy, with some nobles supporting Henry's daughter's claim to the throne while others would support the nephew of Henry I, Stephen of Blois. Initially after Henry's death, Adeliza would temporarily retire to a Benedictine convent at Wilton Abbey near Salisbury in Wiltshire. Her retreat would last only three years when she married one of her husband's former advisers, William Daubini, 1st Earl of Arundel. Adeliza would go to live with William at Arundel Castle in West Sussex. Together they would have seven children together. Four sons and three daughters called Alice, William, Olivia, Raina, Geoffrey, Henry, and Agatha. Although their marriage would seem happy there must have been some tension during the anarchy which started in 1138. The anarchy was a civil war in England and Normandy, for the crown of England. The battle was between Matilda firstborn and sole legitimate heir to the throne of her father Henry I and her cousin, Stephen of Blois. Stephen was the son of William the Conqueror's youngest daughter, Adela, Countess of Blois. Adeliza through her oath when married to Henry supported Matilda, whilst William was a supporter of Stephen. Tensions would come to a head when Adeliza allowed Matilda and her half-brother Robert, 1st Earl of Gloucester take refuge at Arundel Castle in 1139. Matilda was promised sanctuary by Adeliza in England after she had fled Normandy. This would be against the wishes of her husband. When Stephen laid siege to Arundel Castle, Matilda was forced undoubtedly to betray Matilda and hand her and her half-brother over to Stephen. In fear of losing her lands, Adeliza would appeal to Stephen that she only gave refuge to Matilda as she was offering hospitality to persons of a higher noble status. Stephen would show leniency to her pleas and allow Matilda and Robert to travel to Bristol. 
Adeliza would remain a landlord of properties gifted to her when she was married to her first husband, Henry I. Her estates included Waltham Abbey in Essex, the county of Shropshire and properties in Hertfordshire, Bedfordshire, Buckinghamshire, Berkshire, Middlesex and Devon. For reasons unknown, Adeliza would leave her husband, William Daubini in 1850. She would return to Flanders and enter a monastery at Afflegelum where her brother was residing. Afflegelum is 12 miles northwest of present-day Brussels. She would die the following year in 1151 at the age of 48. Her burial site is unknown and has been disputed between the monastery in Afflegelum and with her first husband, Henry I in Reading Abbey. Although there is no documentation to support this, the end of Adeliza life remains a mystery as does much of youth which seems tragic for a queen and widow at a turbulent point of English history which saw the end of Norman rule and the seeds of the House of Plantagenet start to spring.